everyone, so this is just a really short update, I don't really have that much to talk about, um, but I ran out of ideas of other videos to do. It's really late at night, probably close to 11pm, can't sleep, have to go to work tomorrow, so I have to be awake, I'm leaving the house in about eight and a half hours. Normally I'm okay on about five hours sleep but lately I've been getting really bad sleep so I had a nap today though so I'm building up the uh, sleep bank hours. <laughs> um, so yeah I have actually, oh I should have done this for my tag confession and that's not going to make any sense to you guys unless I've already posted that video. So You'll understand, when I post, it's the um, fondue of you, the last question, I should have done this one. Ah, whatever. Yeah, so I was watching television the other day and just flicking channels, and I saw the Clarisonic. And so many people have been talking about how fabulous it is, and I've always wanted one, and I saw it, and it was on sale, and I could do part payments, so I bought it. If it didn't have part payments, I probably wouldn't have bought it because it is a lot of money to be spending in one go, particularly when I'm on a no spend ban. So, yeah, I mean, I can afford it. I know I can afford it. And I really, really, really wanted the Clarisonic. There's been other things I've been looking at and I'm like, oh, that looks nice. I'm like, no, I can't buy that. I'm on a spend ban and um, I haven't been buying them so the Clarisonic see the thing is I don't know with skincare I think I'm going to be a little bit more lenient because I really want to have good healthy skin and so many people have been giving this product a really good review I wanted to try it for myself and see if it actually works because if it does what they say, like gets rid of you know, the dry flakiness. I mean, I really like the cleanser that I'm using. I really like the skincare routine that I'm on. But if it could improve those results or improve the texture of my skin more, then I'm definitely all for that. Um, I think it's a bit sensitive for me, the issue of my skin, because I used to have really, really bad skin with acne. I still have very, very minor acne scars. They have faded a lot and that's after years and years and years of going through all sorts of products to help with that. Um, so the texture of my skin still isn't top notch and my skin has changed a hell of a lot um, since then. But it's still a kind of a sensitive thing for me. I think it's more so because I've never actually had perfect skin. I still get breakouts. As you can tell, if you've watched my videos, you'll probably notice that I get really bad breakouts across my chin. Like at the moment, I've got... Oh, there you go. You can see them. Like, they, this is nowhere near as bad as it gets. This is actually pretty good. But they're very painful. They still hurt because they start off as under the skin kind of cystic acne, kind of. Um, so yeah, across my chin, I get a lot of breakouts there, and a lot of dryness and flakiness just across here. What do you do? <laughs> so, I do have a 30 day money back guarantee on the Clarisonic, so I'm going to try it. And at least then, if I use it and I still am not happy with it, it's not as if I've lost my money, I can send it back. Um, Apart from that, not much else is happening. I probably should try to go to bed. But, you know, I should have washed my hair today, but I didn't. Um, and it's too late to do it now. So I'll just do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'll wear my hair up tomorrow to work. <laughs> um, oh, I went to my parents' house tonight for dinner. And my puppies went for a swim for the very first time. Um... So, Lockie seemed to enjoy the water a lot more than Pally did. 
and I figured because where they're moving to they don't have a pool and where they are currently they do have a pool um, so we went around there and well, my boyfriend had a swim and um, it was funny because when he had Pally in the water um, Lockie would jump into the water and swim towards Pally and try to save him and then he'd get to him and realise I don't know what to do um, and so when Lockie was on the outside of the pool and Pally was trying to get out Lockie would bite his collar and try to pull him up <laughs> so you can tell they're brothers they really do love each other and they stick up for each other uh, it's a bit of trouble sometimes because they do get up to mischief one of them's brawny, the other one's brainy. Actually, they're both kind of brainy. A funny thing that I will have to try to catch on camera one day is, you know, the drain pipes that you have in laundries and showers and bathrooms? And they've got that little, like, drain cover, the one with the holes in it, that you pull out to clean inside and whatnot. Um, one day, we were cleaning the floor in the bathroom and we had to pull it out to wash down there so it was nice and clean and the dogs were watching us. Now we had walked out of the bathroom and Pally had managed to pull out the drain. Like this is a drain cover that took me a while to actually get out because I'm lazy and I can't even look walking and getting anything to get it out so I'm just trying to use my finger and I struggled. But this dog has somehow seen it happen once, realised, ooh, that comes out of that hole, I just might grab that. And we walk back in and he's chewing on it. And so, <laughs> they both do it now. Um, they're very strange dogs, very strange indeed. So you have to be careful what they see, because if they realise they can get something, they will. Like my nail files, they're very cheeky but adorable. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it for now. Um, I didn't record as many videos as I hoped I would. It was a very busy weekend this weekend. Um, very full on. Had a lot of things on. Um, and next weekend and the weekend after is the same, so... Yeah, between both of us and working and cleaning and <laughs> family, <laughs> it's very busy. Um, but Wednesday is a day off, it's Australia Day, so that'll be good, and I'll probably spend that with my family. Um, and I think I said that already, but I'm not sure, I can't remember. But I'm going to wrap it up, um, because I really should go to bed, but I, I'm really not tired. <sighs> Maybe I'll just lie there in the dark and relax, and see if that helps. Because I, I would say, you know, I'll drink a glass of warm milk, but being lactose intolerant is probably not a good idea. Although I do have some lactose-free milk. Which is actually, surprisingly, it tastes like cow milk. I don't know how they do it, but it's like cow milk, but lactose-free. Because I've tried soy milk and rice milk, and I think they just, ugh, I don't like the taste of them. They, they're very, like, nutty, but not nice. But yeah, this is like, I think it's called Zimmel, I don't know, Paul Zimmel, something, Zimmel. but the thing that annoys me is it's so expensive and they only sell it in a one litre carton. I don't really like cartons, I like things with the screw lids, and I am so going off track here and I was meant to be wrapping it up, this isn't wrapping it up, so I'm wrapping it up now, and I will see you again soon, <laughs> bye. <laughs>